Just days before Yuri Gagarin's historic flight into space on April 12, 1961, were independent newspaper and radio accounts in England, France, and Hungary of a top-secret launch to space carrying the son of a famous Soviet aircraft designer, a world-renowned test pilot by the name of Vladimir Ilyushin, the Soviet equivalent of America's Chuck Yeager. Ilyushin was one of the first Russians to break the sound barrier. Besides being a test pilot flying virtually all top Soviet jets in the late 1950s and early 1960s, and set dozens of world altitude and speed records. As a result, Lieutenant Colonel Ilyushin received the Hero of the Soviet Union Award, which is the Soviet equivalent of America's Congressional Medal of Honor, for his test pilot accomplishments. By all Soviet standards, Ilyushin was clearly the obvious choice to be the first man in space. U.S. Air Force tracking stations actually tracked the Ilyushin flight five days before Gagarin's flight, but something went very wrong that day. The brave Ilyushin who attempted this unprecedented flight was unable to eject. He crash-landed in the capsule and miraculously survived. But he crash-landed in the Soviet's bitterest enemy, China. Badly injured, he was sent to a hospital in China, then later released, and vehemently denied any such flight took place. Hard evidence of Ilyushin's flight and the ensuing cover-up has been, up to now, top secret. But with the collapse of communism and the breakup of the former Soviet Union, formerly unavailable Kremlin archives now confirm these remarkable events. And finally, at the age of 80, retired Russian Air Force General Vladimir Ilyushin reluctantly allowed himself to be filmed at an air museum with a top-quality documentary production company, Global Science Productions but is still scared to death to correct history and reveal what he thought the world cared little about, the Soviet cover-up, the military secrecy, and the torturing ordeal that became his life.